Hi, Chris from Regal Rexnord here with your Motor Minute Tech Tip, helping you become a motor pro one minute at a time. Today's Motor Minute topic is fractional horsepower motor rotation. Determining the correct direction of the motor and or the air moving device is important when selecting and or installing a replacement motor. Even though most universal replacement motors are dual rotation, you still have to know which direction to select. Motor rotation as it is listed on the motor in fractional horsepower direct drive applications is confusing at best. There are many acronyms used to describe the motor's rotation. In fact, on some motor rating plates, there's just an arrow. If only CW or CCW is listed on the motor, you will need to look at the air moving device to determine rotation. Without a defining orientation listed on the motor, you are left to question which end of the motor to refer to. Unfortunately, there is no consensus among manufacturers. CW is the acronym for clockwise, CCW is the acronym for counterclockwise. Adding a defining reference point makes the listed rotation more precise. The most widely used reference points are lead end and shaft end. Lead end, LE, references the end of the motor the leads exit from. Shaft end, SE, references the end of the motor with the shaft. The following ratings all imply the same direction of rotation. Clockwise lead end is the same as clockwise opposite shaft end, which is also the same as counterclockwise shaft end and counterclockwise opposite lead end. All of these ratings also imply the same direction of rotation in the opposite direction as shown in the previous page. Counterclockwise lead end is the same as counterclockwise opposite shaft end, which is also the same as clockwise shaft end and clockwise opposite lead end. It will take some practice, but once you think through each word of the rating, it will begin to make sense. Understanding the correct rotation is critical if you are replacing with a dedicated rotation motor. If you are replacing with a dual rotation motor, knowing the correct rotation of the air moving device will help you set up the motor to operate in the proper direction of rotation the first time, thus saving the time required to reverse the motor after it has been installed or replace it with the correct rotation motor. If the direction of rotation is not listed on the failed motor or is not legible, you will need to determine the direction of rotation of the air moving device. This information will be covered in future Motor Minute Tech Tips as listed below. These titles include Indoor Blower Wheel Rotation and Outdoor Fan Blade Rotation. And that's a wrap on this segment of Motor Minute. Remember, we provide motor training and product information in multiple formats, including videos, literature, podcasts, articles, of course, Motor Minute technical tips, and classroom education, both online and face-to-face. All of this industry-leading training is available at no charge to HVAC professionals at regalmmu.com. Thank you for taking the time to build your motor knowledge.